Ooh, look at this. You guys see that? Is that coming through nice and clear? I don't know. I don't know what that's what we're looking for though. That is milfoil under the ice. Sometimes your eyes can be the only fish finder you need early ice. We want to be on a weed edge though. We don't want to be in the weeds. Sometimes you could just kind of walk out till you don't see them. Of course, there is a much more technologically savvy way to do it. And that is with the hummingbird graph. Maybe we'll just take a look at it real quick here. You guys will have to forgive me. So out of practice here. We didn't bring the real tripod, but I'll tell you what, we'll make every effort to make a good video today. And this is kind of where we want to be. Obviously we were just kind of following the weed edge, but if you see right here, this is the still knob I want to set up on right here. They're here, but we're pretty close to this one right now. Anytime I could set up on an edge, good for me. Those weeds were back in here. So the second we lose weeds here in six, seven, eight feet of water, it's gonna kind of be what we're looking for. All right, what is going on guys? We're back and look, we're walking on water. There's no humans in sight. How can you beat that right there? Can't believe it, ice fishing is here. Went out late last night to just check some ice. Was pleasantly surprised by how much ice there was. Got a bunch of big trips, ice fishing trips coming up over the next several weeks now. But if I can get out on little local water, a little bit before the travel, Maybe do a little ice fishing on Thanksgiving Day even before I got to travel. That's a, that's a win for me. But uh, checked ice. Probably walked about three quarters of a mile, a mile on it. Seems to be pretty much like three. A couple spots that had two, but I walked around those after checking them. Three, three and a half inches. If you were going out on early ice, be safe. And uh, that is the most important thing I can say. But um, we just kind of got to this weed edge. <laughs> I think where we're going to set up for the day and uh, we're doing some shallow water walleye fishing. Although we might catch, who knows, could be a pike, could be a muskie, could be a bass, could be a walleye. Any fish is a good fish today, but I don't want to waste too much time because we're in shallow water. These fish are going to be spooky. So what we're going to do is uh, punch a few holes. Um, whenever you're fishing a weed bed like this, I like to make sure I'm just off the edge. So I don't want to be seeing a ton of weeds in a hole. I kind of want a weed pocket somewhere where it's maybe like thick weeds, thick weeds, no weeds. So. Um, stay tuned. I'm going to punch a few holes, hopefully find that edge and then set some set lines up on them. I cannot believe we have that much ice. It's absolutely insane. But one of the best parts about using the hummingbird on the ice, like I said, is not only can we see exactly where we are, but we can see exactly what's down there. Lake Master cards, pretty much what I run in all my, all my graphs. And it's easily probably your best, uh, your best option um, as far as a mapping system goes. And as you guys can see right here, based on the hummingbird here, I have a screenshot where I do not have any weeds down there. And that's what I'm looking for, because for sure there's a lot of weeds around me. So this lets me know, you know I can even do, go as far as kind of dropping a waypoint right here if I wanted to. Simply hit mark, waypoint, boom. Now I know I'm right, this is, you know, for future reference, I'm on this edge right here. So let's get a line set here. Today's op angling opportunities, very simple. Shallow water, set line fishing. So um, we don't want to be standing out here, like making a bunch of noise, moving around, because we're literally in, like you guys just saw, like four and a half feet of water. So basically what we're going to be doing is running the deadliest of all set line options, the beaver dam tip up right there. And we're going to run a few of these set lines real shallow, and kind of hope for the best today. I can tell I'm way out of practice from filming because I don't have my normal tripod with. So we're left with whatever array of cameras I can possibly combine together to give me a platform I can film off. But tip of fishing, obviously, unbelievably easy. And it'd kind of be a sad deal, I feel like, if we didn't start out the ice fishing season with just some real basic setting set lines in some shallow water. Now this is likely going to be probably a lot of morning evening action. If you guys can't tell, the morning action has passed us by. We're not going to get that morning bite. Now can you catch a midday? You absolutely can, but basically all we're doing sucker minnow right through the back, treble hook, and we're going to send them down there. It is super shallow here. 
like I said, we're only sitting in like four feet of water, so not gonna need to put them down there too far. Voila, our first ice fishing line of the season is set. Now I don't wanna put all my lines there on top of each other, so I'll spread them out pretty good ways down this weed edge. And then the traps are set and we simply wait. So beaver dam in the water, number one, feels incredible. It's about 25 degrees out this morning. I'm sweating, I'm excited. And uh, let's get a few more lines in and hopefully a few flags pop. All right, the lines are set. When I'm fishing really shallow water like this, I like to get away from kind of where the lines are, um, at least by, you know, 30, 40 yards to kind of just, you know, plop down here on the ice and wait till something happens just in case my little bit of movement on the ice spooks fish, which a lot of times it will. So we're gonna get a little bit away from our lines here. And now begins the wait for a flag. So stay tuned. I'm gonna probably just lay down right in the sled and get a sun tan because it's so crazy sunny out today. Not crazy about the weather. Not crazy about this bright sun, but if we have to wait till last light to catch our first fall of the ice season, we'll do it. This is not gonna be probably a crazy insane numbers video, but if we could put the first walleyes on the ice of the season today, it's a big win. So stay tuned, Let's see what happens. Number one, got a flag, been about 30 minutes probably, which is kind of normal to let the spot kind of cool down a little bit. Have not seen it turn yet though. Oh, there it goes. Got him. Fish number one on the ice. Well, not on the ice yet, but we got a fish on. My first fish of the ice. Oh, it's a nice walleye. It's a nice walleye. <laughs> oh man, you guys see that? I'm trying my best with my minimal camera equipment today. Look at that. First walleye of the day and of the season through the ice. How are you gonna beat that right there? Simple fishing, couple tip-ups, some live bait, a pliers, a flasher to know how deep it is, and just like that, you're out here catching walleyes. And that is one of the beautiful parts about ice fishing. You can make it as simple or as complex as you want. And there's a beautiful walleye to get things going right there. And I can't tell how well I'm framed because I have no idea where this camera's looking. But look at that, how's it getting any better than that? Walleyes on first ice, baby. Look at that perfect little 18, 17 inch or somewhere right in there. Let's let them go. You guys know how much I love catch and release fishing. That is exactly what we're gonna do with this guy here. Oh, I love it. Feels good to get that first one out of the way. Look at these little porkers, dude. They're so chunky and fat. I mean, that's an eight inch hole and an 18 inch fish. See you later, buddy. Does that ever feel good right there? And if they're here now, we should get a really good pop kind of in that, you know, dusk time frame. The question is how many are here and uh, all those kind of things. And that bite was exactly what happens a lot of times in shallow water. Flag pops doesn't turn much as you're walking up to it. They take all that line out like that. But walleye number one on the ice, how are you gonna beat it on the beaver dam? This is his first ice as first ice gets, just drag a sled out, couple tip-ups, sit around and watch them in some skinny water and catching walleyes. Well, not gonna lie, it's been a little slow since that first fish. Been about an hour, had one flag, but uh, nothing came out of it. But uh, we're getting a beautiful suntan here sitting in the sled today. It's a little warm out for what you ideally probably want for a little first ice operation, but um, this is mainly a low light bite, so we kind of knew it would be slower during the day and then we hope that last kind of hour of the day yields some results. But, uh, want to take a second, breaking news announcement. Do -do 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 Was that a good breaking news announcement or no? Probably not. But we have a pile of the new Contour Fishing Co. beanies in. We also have a ton of other ice fishing gear as well. Shelby is literally putting away 
as we speak, getting it ready to ship um, to you guys. And uh, if you're suffering from a cold head, if you are tired of a winter hat that has zero insulation, if you want an awesome contour fishing clothes, um, beanie or hat, we got one for you. And uh, we also have some awesome like ice fishing towels, um, which I know are out now. We have some awesome um, ice fishing sweatshirt design, some really cool artistic stuff which we got in. And I don't even know if I'm supposed to be saying this because Shelbster is literally putting it all away right now. And I know she's got some cool Black Friday, Thanksgiving Day, Cyber Monday, whatever the, all the stuff is now, deals going on over there. So I'll link it down below in this video, I'll link it down below in everyone. But if you guys want to support this channel or just get some awesome ice fishing apparel, get on over there and uh, link at the first link in this description down below. But um, we're just chillaxing right now. We're relaxing in the sled, waiting for that sun to get a little bit lower and for some flakes to start popping. It's always the question this time of year or whenever you're fishing, do you move, do you stay? Well, you know, by foot, not a whole lot I could do. I could go check other spots maybe, but um, by the time I drill holes, I might push the fish out, then it'd take them longer to come back. So I think we're just gonna hold tight and wait for that little evening window flurry. Right on cue. Sun just above the tree line. Another flag. Starting to get a little bit cooler out. But that is to be, ex ooh, is she spinning a little bit? She's spinning a little bit. This is what we need, we need about four or five of these things to pop off here at the end of the day. Oh, gotta get it set. Oh man, look at that, he's flying. Fish on, feels nice. Oh, he's running crazy at me here. <laughs> come on, come on, feels nice. Feels nice. Oh yeah, here he is. Oh my goodness, little pike. Well, that is definitely not what we were hoping for. But still a little bit of time. As you can see where that sun is, we are entering the window right now. Magic time. Sun disappeared. Can we make it happen in the last little bit of time here? We will see. I don't think we're around a lot of fish, but you know, sometimes that's just kind of the gamble you take. When you're, when you gotta walk out. The camera's a little lopsided, huh? Let's see what we got going on. Feed him a little bit of line. Fish on, right there. Definitely gonna be a nice walleye. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Look at that guy. <laughs> Hopefully we're framed all right. Oh man, you know, right at prime time. I just had my chesty GoPro die and I was swapping a battery and turning around the flag was up. Let's get this set here. I feel all out of place without my normal stuff with me. I don't know if it's painful to watch or not. There we go. Look at that. That's a little bit chunkier one even than the first one, right at the prime time. And for the first day, of the year on ice I'm calling this a success any day of the week there we go whoop, whoop, whoop. we'll get you off real quick buddy just show you off a little bit of blood but he's gonna be just fine that's what we're after man first ice walleyes breaking it in today let's let that guy go beautiful sunset beautiful walleye it's a beautiful sight right there let's let him go real quick here angry angry little guy look at that right on cue and of course because i don't oh, i'm hooked because i don't have my normal tripod i don't have my light today so i can't fish super late but if i can bait back up and stick another one on a beautiful day on the ice like this we'll take it so let's do it real quick here because we don't have don't have a ton of time left that's for sure Wow, incredible sunset tonight. 
But without the light, we are gonna pick up. And it just was slower than I thought it was gonna be. Hopefully you guys could still even see me all right. But that is the gamble you take when you're walking out. You don't always end up around a whole lot of fish. And you can only really walk to so many different spots in a day. But first day in the ice, only had the afternoon hours to fish today. Caught a couple walleyes. Objective achieved, mission accomplished. But uh, we will be catching plenty more walleyes in days to come. But for right now, we're gonna walk out of here. I hate walking on early ice, super late at, at night. Um, so we only got one tiny little headlight, which is pretty much dying. So I'm gonna pull out now safely work my way back to the truck and uh we'll regroup with you once we get back to the uh the home base and uh do a little recap in the garage so stay tuned We've got about a three quarters of a mile walk maybe in the dark and uh we're gonna safely spot our way back we are home we are back first day on the ice pretty slow fishing but uh, figured I might as well make a video of our first day of ice fishing of the 2022-2023 winter. Got the first couple walleyes out of the way. It's currently the day before Thanksgiving right now. Happy Thanksgiving to everybody tomorrow, probably the day you're watching this video, so happy Thanksgiving today. Um, might go out in the morning and film again, move around a little bit on the same body water we're on today. We'll see. I don't know, a um, lot of travel, a lot of exciting ice fishing stuff planned for this year. Um, really looking forward to it. I guess we can even bring you guys downstairs and show you like how ready we are actually. Pretty much waiting for Thanksgiving to get over, company to leave, and then essentially I am headed out of town on a lengthy road trip. And uh, we haven't shown you guys too much of the fishing garage yet. Still don't want to give you the full tour or anything like that. But um, we have the otters, the bear cat, everything loaded down, ready to go soon. And uh, that's very exciting. And Surly hangs out with me in the garage out here while I edit. But um, appreciate you guys watching this video. Like I said, day number one on the ice. Figured I might as well make a video of it. And uh, hopefully you guys kind of enjoyed it. There'll be many more walleyes caught, many more miles traveled this ice season. Um, but for the first day on the ice, can't complain too much. So I appreciate you guys watching this video. Um, if you guys are not yet, please subscribe. If you guys want to check out any of that Contour Fishing Clothing Co., me and Shelby's clothing company, all that ice fishing merchandise, like I said, it's linked in the first link in this description. Go go check that out. Got a bunch of sales going on, a bunch of awesome products, and we greatly appreciate it. So um, appreciate you guys watching this video. If you guys are not yet, please subscribe. Stay tuned for more content. We'll see you next time.